Hey Leo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of August general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So it's interesting. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was My Funny Valentine, and I heard the Shaka Khan version. You know, a lot of people have done various versions of this song, but I heard the Shaka Khan version. But right before I started you guys reading, I heard Valentine. It's not, I don't think it's my Valentine, my funny Valentine, but I think it's Valentine by Carl Thomas. Now, it's very interesting because of the lyrics. What I'm hearing, and this, I kept hearing this part over and over again of um, My Funny Valentine by Shaka Khan. She says, my funny Valentine, sweet darling Valentine, you make me smile with my heart. And then in, the, in the, the verse that I heard with the Carl Thomas song, he says, what can I do? Oh, tell me, what can I do? I'm just trying to get through to you. Tell me you're my Valentine. Um, and then he says that over and over again. And he says, tell me why you never smile. So it's, it's, it's a bit oxymoronic, if you will, because in a Shaka Khan version, she says, you make me smile with my heart. And then he's telling, he's saying like, tell me why you never smile. What I got with that immediately, what I literally heard is, they're a hard, you deal with somebody who's hard to read or you're hard to read, but somebody's about to crack the code. Somebody's about to crack code. I feel like somebody is playing hardball because they don't want to show their emotions. They don't want to show that they're interested. They don't want to show that they're kind of already wrapped up in a situation emotionally. But somebody's going to crack that code. Somebody's going to realize, like, you know, and I keep saying somebody because either you or this person. Now, even if you are single, I feel like this is the type of situation you're going into. You're going to connect with somebody. For a lot of y'all, especially if you are natal, like sun sign Leos, and you've been out celebrating for your birthday and meeting people and things like that, somebody fancies you a lot or you are really digging someone. And, and I really feel like the feelings are so strong immediately and somebody's trying to hide that. It won't be hidden much longer. I just don't get that. To, that's going to happen, okay? So, Miss Shaka Khan happens to be an Aries, and Carl Thomas is a Gemini, so you could be dealing with an Aries or a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus individual. You also got these placements in your chart as well. So, let's jump into your reading. And how has you guys, how has Leo season been for you guys? You see a lot of stuff is going on in Leo season. I love Leo season. My um, Vedic rising sign is Leo, so I love that energy. I connect with Leos a lot. And I, I will say Leo season has been very entertaining thus far. So let me know in the comment section how things have been for you. And let me know whether or not you had a good birthday, if your birthday has already passed. Or if it's coming up, let me know what you guys plan on doing. Hello. Maybe you feel like falling in love. That's for some of you all out there. I just asked what you, what are you guys going to be doing. Hell, you may be out on an intimate date. You may meet someone when you're out and about and you just lock eyes and this just feels like some type of movie type stuff. Oh my goodness, that's so weird. I just heard um, Harley Quinn and the Joker. And I know that's not something that you would want to emulate as a relationship, but it was like they would ride or die for each other. You may This may be something that you want. Like you want that reciprocity, like somebody who's going to go as hard for you as you go for them. I'm also getting something with pregnancy. You know how they say if, if someone dreams of fish, this almost looks like it could be a dream state. If someone dreams of fish, <clears throat> somebody's pregnant. And see, my throat got kind of uh, scruffy right there when I said that. So someone was like, I rebuke pregnancy. Okay? Getting that also. Some of y'all also could be dealing with a water sign, cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. So we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is the sun. Oh, already showing up. But I'm going to shuffle. We're already going to show up. Um... But yeah, we're going to get the sun, we're going to get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. You guys are showing up already. You guys on somebody's mind real strong and they're lying about it. They're lying, okay? You got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I did mention Mr. Carl Thomas who sings Valentine. He happens to be a Gemini, okay? Um, you could be done with a May Gemini. Also in July, because you do have the Seven of Swords, July, somebody could have been trying to deceive you. And that was just last month. So say, for instance, you met someone, this person is still trying to play the role. Like they're not really digging you. Or also, you could be a July Leo. Whatever the case, somebody is trying to act like they're not really digging someone. And it is a lie. It is a lie, 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 lie. So let's go ahead and go through the deck. And go through until we get your card, your major arcana, which we already seen popping up. So you guys are on somebody's mind real tough. I'm going to tell you that for sure. Um, the sun card for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. You know what I keep hearing more and more? As I'm talking, I'm hearing the Carl Thomas version. And he it's a part of the song where he screams out, like, 
Tell me what can I do? Oh, tell me what can I do? I'm just trying to get through to you. Tell me you are my Valentine. And tell me why you never smile. So, somebody could be wondering if they make you happy. I'm getting that also. And I said wondering, you got the hermit. This is a wanderer, someone who's on the path to seek knowledge, seek wisdom, seek clarity. Somebody wants to know if they make you happy. If not, they want to go in a different direction. You can see how his back is facing the sun. Also, you know, the hermit is associated with Virgo energy. So you could be a Leo Virgo cusper. Doesn't have to be. Um, this could also be talking about going into Virgo season. You're trying to find what you really want. What really makes you happy. Yeah, you want to choose which. Wow, you got nothing but major arcanas here. You want to choose which direction you're going in. Very strong. So you have your major arcana here, Leo. And then you got you again right here in the corner. So you definitely are trying to decide what's going to make you happy. You're trying to balance out certain areas in your life with the Six of Pentacles. And yeah, and this could be associated with Virgo because Pentacles is towards Virgo Capricorn. You got Virgo here. I feel like in Virgo season, you guys are going to be trying to decide which direction to go in and make you happy. If you're connected with someone, if this person seems like they are not about you the same way that you're about them, you're going to move and go in a different direction. And then because of look how this is on the table, I'm going to pick up how it is on the table. Some of you guys definitely got somebody coming along your path. They're going towards each other. Okay. Like I said, you have Leo here. That's your energy. It could be a Taurus, Aquarius, or a Scorpio. Someone rising Venus in the visual. I feel like sun sign. If you're single, they could be coming in. Also, there could be time frames. Aquarius season has passed. Taurus season has passed. Scorpio season has not passed yet. Or an elite wish on Leo season. So you can meet someone in Leo season. Again, around the time of your birthday. Or you can meet somebody in Scorpio season, which is October, November time frame. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Pentacles holding on for dear life. Some of you all are realizing that you need to let go of someone that you've been holding on for a very long time. Because this person might have been a bit of a snake. Or something about this person has changed and it just doesn't fit your lifestyle anymore. Or you may have changed. Because snakes are not always shady characters. It's also transformation. Once that snake shares the skin, it becomes a bigger snake. So some of you all are thinking bigger. Thinking big, thinking bigger, thinking broader, thinking wider, um, thinking outside the box because she's not inside a box. She's in an oval. Like you're ready for things to come full circle for you, like this circle here, right? Some of y'all may have been single for a year. I'm just looking at the, you know, there's four seasons in a year, and you have four um, entities on each corner. So some of you guys have been single for a year. Some of y'all have been single for a month. You got four here, and you got the four of pentacles for four months or since April could have ended something with someone who was a April Taurus because you do have Taurus right here in the corner could have ended something with someone who was a Taurus or ended something with someone in Taurus season because you found out they were a snake it's part of the deck yeah you have the night yeah night of wands playboy play girl here for a good time not a long time in and out of hot and cold you could have found out this person again you put a lot of value on this person pentacles hold value you put a lot of value in this person this person was in and out playing games and so you decided, you know, you found something out because there's a snake on his path. You found something out and you realize, like, yeah, I'm out of here. Now, with that crack in the code, it could very much mean that you don't found out the truth about somebody's behavior behind the scenes also. You're seeing a tower, so that's for sure for somebody. Yep. Three of Cups. Um, this could be third party situation that you were put in, okay? And you released that person. Or this also could be like, okay, you've released somebody that you held a lot of respect for or you've put a lot of value in them and now you're going out celebrating um, yeah, because it looks like she's celebrating some type of forward movement in her life. Some of you guys could have been like just down in the dumps for a while, wasn't going out, wasn't socializing. Because see, even though he's walking forward, he looks his head is down, he's not looking high. Look how her head is up. That's pride, that's confidence. That head down is like, okay, I made some bad decisions, or I don't know where I'm going in my journey. And a lot of you guys are in a different space now emotionally. And that will make a lot of sense as we are in your season, right? So now you're, you know, you're feeling those big Leo vibes. Bottom of the deck, big Leo vibes. Hello, queen of wands. Look at the lines back there. You see, you have two lines facing each other. So it looks like you, like I said, you want somebody who's like-minded, just like you, who has the same type of energy. And that's what you're on a journey to find. And even if not on a journey to find, that's where you're on your way to. That's where you're headed. Let's get a clarifier for the hermit. Some of you guys are going to meet somebody in Virgo season. For sure. And this person could also be a Leo Virgo Cusper. So that's going to clarify for the Hermit. Okay. For Leo, someone rise and Venus. You got the Six of Wands reverse. Six of Wands success, attainment, achievement, victory. And reverse, there's lack of victory. Again, I feel like this is the past because you see how this is going towards us and not towards the future. I feel like this is the past. I feel like, like I said, associated with this, you found out somebody was a snake. Somebody was doing some sneaky stuff. 
And it may have taken you a while to move on from it because Six of Wands is definitely you guys' energy. Also, that's Leo. But I feel like you now you're in a space because nothing trumps Major Arcana. Regardless of how many Major Arcanas you have here, nothing here. You have all Major Arcanas as your main cards. So it just looks like even though you lack some type of success in a situation that you thought was going to move forward, you're still moving on and you're still evolving and you're going to expand. I'm just looking at how all of them have wings. Wings expand. You're expanding your... um ascension you're going in a different direction some of you guys are traveling for your birthday or you already did abroad i mean somewhere like out of the country for some of you all um and then also i feel like some of you all may be making plans for a, a milestone birthday next year and somebody could have flew in town to visit you for your birthday to celebrate your birthday with you again it won't be for everyone but i, but I am getting it for someone okay Six of Pentacles. You have two sixes here. Six plus six is 12 of 12. One plus two is three. So I'm, again, I'm going to say somebody definitely put some of you on a third party situation. Let's get a clarify for the world. Clarify for the world. Okay, that flipped up quick. The Knight of Pentacles moving slowly but surely. This is the slowest moving night in the whole entire deck of tarot. So some of you all, after there was a lack of victory in the situation, because see, they're both knights here. After there was a lack of victory in the situation, you may be taking it really slow when it comes to matters of the heart, or you're dealing with somebody who's come moving very slow when it comes to matters of the heart because they were hurt before. They don't want to be hurt again. But I'm going to say this again. I feel like in Virgo season, some of you guys are getting ready to meet somebody new. Either you have been hurt before and it's taken you a while to open yourself up to new love, or they have, whatever the case. If you're single, a lot of you guys are going to meet somebody in Virgo season. And even if you're in a relationship and you're dealing with someone, it, it's, it's kind of like if it's taking a long time for you to find, because he's trying to, he's in search, find a way to forgive this person. And, and in your mind, you're thinking like, I, I don't see this moving forward. I feel like the universe is saying like, this can move forward, but take it slow. Take it slow, take it one day at a time and kind of build that rapport, build that respect for this person, build that trust for this person. But it can go the distance is what I'm getting. <laughs> and I just I just looked at the bull so I'm hearing somebody's like bullshit. But hey, you know, put it where it applies for you. <laughs> okay. So Leo, someone rising in Venus individuals. As always, I'm gonna ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.